Hello and welcome to this video where we have something new and exciting for you guys and that is we have designed a lawnmower blade angle and thickness gauge so that you can easily measure lawnmower blade cutting edge angles and the thickness of the lawnmower blade. Let's take a little closer look at this new product. Here's a closer view of the new lawnmower blade angle and thickness gauge by Magnematic Corporation. It is shipped in a plastic sleeve. Let's remove the card from the sleeve. Our new angle and thickness gauge is made from stainless steel. All of the text is laser etched, so it will not rub off or get scratched off through use, so it is very durable. You'll see here the, when we hold it in this orientation, the Thicknesses are up this side. The size of the thickness is below the open slot, and you would simply just put the lawnmower blade in that slot, and I'll give you a demonstration of that as well. And then along this side, you'll see we have all of the primary angles for lawnmower blades. Of course, 30 degrees, which is the industry average and the most common for finish cutting. Then we have 35, 40, and 45. And if you've watched some of the other videos in the past, we've talked about that 40 and 45 being a little bit stronger cutting edge angle. If you know you're going to be in environments where you're having more impacts, hitting rocks or sticks and things like that, brush cutting, pasture cutting, things of that nature, the steeper angles are nicer for that just to keep the blade a little bit tougher, whereas your finish cutting angles are generally 30 or 35. And this way, you can very easily with this gauge check any lawnmower blade and not have to try and either um, mess around with a protractor. Many shops don't have uh, a machinist's protractor, which is a way of measuring angles, whereas this gauge that we've designed keeps it very simple and easy by just simply sliding the angle into the slots, and you can very quickly determine what angle you have. The next feature of the angle gauge I'd like to point out is that we have a hole down in this lower corner. Here we've designed this so that you can connect a key ring or a string or a chain or whatever you'd like to to be able to hang this from your sharpener stand or from the sharpener itself or perhaps a workbench. Just some way to keep it convenient and close to the machine. Let's use our angle gauge to measure this brand new blade. We want to line up the flat portion with the bottom of the cutting edge, and here you can see the blade is 30 degrees. And here we'll check the thickness of the blade, and it looks like it is 0.203. As you can see here, this one is not fitting, and the quarter inch is very loose. So this blade is 0.203. For this demonstration, we'll be using a MAG 8200. If you've done a little research at our site already, you'll know that the 8200 series can come in a lot of different configurations. It can use a one inch wide grinding wheel, a half inch wide grinding wheel, a two inch wide abrasive belt, making it a belt grinder. It can have a fixed 30 degree only table or a modular table as shown here that can dial in different angles or use different blade inserts for different blade types. The 8200 can also be dry or water cooled. So this configuration that we'll be using now is the two inch wide belt with the yellow Razor Star belt and a modular work table set at 45 degrees. Now here's that new blade that we measured just before with the angle gauge and we saw that it was 30 degrees. What I'm gonna do now is grind a 45 on it just a small section so that we can measure two different angles that are right next to each other and you can see how accurate the not only the 8200 is at creating an angle but also the accuracy of the gauge to measure it. And you'll also notice the performance of the 8200B that we have here at how quickly we are going to go all the way from 30 degrees to 45 degrees in one grind.
Now here you can see in that very short time, now we've got a bit of a burr here and some of this is the paint flaking. But you can see how quickly the Magnumatic 8200 as a belt grinder with its two inch wide belt and the speeds we're running, how quickly we went from 30 degrees to 45. Now let's measure that angle a little closer. So here's that new blade that we just ground and put that 45 degree angle on. And you can see now the 45 and the 30 here, of course, is all 30 yet. Here is 45. And when I hold this up, you can really see how much material we hogged off in that short bit of time to create a new angle. And this also goes to saying why it's so important to have a sharpener that you can reliably always grind a consistent angle. Because if you see here how much material was removed back, if you're doing this with an angle grinder or some other type of method or completely freehand, if you're not able to keep the same angle every time you're sharpening, you're removing a lot of extra material for no reason, therefore shortening the overall life of the blade. Having a machine that you can reliably cut consistent angles with is very important if you're expecting a consistent job. And here now we'll measure the 30 degree angle further back. Here we'll try and get this into focus. And you can see there we've got the same 30 degree we had before. And here you can see if I try to do that with the 30, how it does not fit, okay? But if we go down to the 45, you'll see that lines right up with the gauge. And so we went from 30 back here now to 45. I hope you found that informative. The new lawnmower blade angle and thickness gauge is out now, so head on over to magnematic.com and get yours today. You'll find it in the section along with grinding wheels. And we'll also put a link in the description of this video directly to the new angle gauge. Also note that all new sharpeners from Magnematic will come with one of these angle gauges free with every sharpener. So again, head on over to magnematic.com. Thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe for new content.